Yeah, so, uh, ooh. Where to begin? Where to begin, yeah. Uh, I, I guess I've had, uh, okay, lots of spiritual experience. I, I took, I was very wealthy, so I could go to any school anywhere in the world, travel and everything. So all these spiritual experiences and, yeah. and learnings. And I ended up in Ecuador. I stayed with some Indians, some native people. Oh, beautiful. Where I realized that in spite of all my knowledge, I don't know anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's usually what you get to as you get older, right? You're like, I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Where is all my spiritual knowledge, all this? I was expecting some magic from a shaman or something. Yeah. I, I woke up in the morning and everybody was sitting, you know, really sitting. And and I was the only one who was not, sit, not sitting, but thinking about what's next. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, the reason I'm saying it is because it was a kind of a major milestone for me to realize that I don't know anything. Right, that is a good milestone for sure. Uh, I, <laughs> in the meantime, I've had a major suicidal depression for for a long oh. time. Oh, and, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, and so I wanted to kill myself, and I didn't quite kill myself. I was in I was in Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. And just before killing myself, I looked inside one more time and sort of something happened to me. <laughs> and I right. realized that... Tell her what, what what exactly happened. It's very important. It has to do with the body. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, uh, I took a lot of martial arts as well. And of course, the kingdom of God is between. Everybody knows that or heard about it, right? And so I, in martial arts, we learned how to look inside but in mm -hmm. a particular way, especially for demonstrations, you know, karate demonstrations and fighting and breaking a brick or something like that. Right. right. So I was able to do that looking inside. Yes. So I, I looked inside again, doing it that way. And then somehow the looking inside was so, uh, so, so wonderfully different at that time. Mm. But I, I realized that there is another uh, dimension to me. I, all of a sudden, something like, like, oh, my God, I woke up and mm. I, I, I looked around and on the beach. There is all these dogs, you know, in Mexico, not, mm -hmm. quite, not quite beautiful. Right. But all of a sudden, those dogs looked uh, very nice and beautiful to me. Yeah. So I thought, okay, uh, something something has happened. So I... It's shifting that realization mm -hmm. and uh, uh which uh, gave me even more difficulties because at that time i was building a condominium project in mexico in puerto Vallarta. it needed to be finished <laughs> it's like, well, okay god if i'm if that's enlightenment thank you very much but i i still have to finish my project i'm a little too busy <laughs> for enlightenment <laughs> uh, so Anyway, that's sort of a very, a very short synopsis of of what happened. And ever since then, I was uh, I spent a lot of time in teaching, exploring, experiencing a part of me. That's what I call it. it's it's the intelligence that runs the body. It's in the body. Right. I've been exploring that, experimenting with that. I've been I've been teaching that. Yeah. Uh, when people look inside the body, yeah, or they, they when they say look inside, they usually find personalities or emotions uh, and part of the mind. Oh, well, let me get to know myself. Yeah. What damages have I suffered? And da 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 da. Right. Yeah. And not realizing that there is a portion of us that's absolutely perfect right now. Yeah. The higher um, level of go into memory, right? They go into a memory of themselves rather than staying present in the moment yes, with right. the perfection that's already there, right? That's right. right. And yeah. staying present with the moment, yeah, is even the expression is in time. It's now. It's at that, that moment. But yeah. The, and and of course the mind is expressing the words, the concepts, and everything. So it's fine. But there is a there is a there is a component inside the body that's perfect yeah and the body is usually usually talked about like oh my god i'm not the body get me away from it everything is frequency everything is energy 
right, all that, mm -hmm. which is not, which is, I realize is not correct, but <laughs> that's what I started, that's what I learned before, right? So yeah. There's, there's a perfection that's accessible right now, even though I might have body pain, even though I might need a personality adjustment, uh, even though I might need to look at my emotions, da 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 da, right? So there is a there is a perfect world that's accessible now, and if yeah. you call that the now, then I agree with the now. <laughs> so that's sort of the very basis of what I teach. Uh, I hate yeah. to teach, but I don't have enough better, yeah. right? Yeah, what you share, what you share with share. me. Yeah, share, yeah, share. Yeah, share. Yeah. My one is share. Sure. <laughs> so. Uh, <clears throat> So as as I've been working within within that world, and I've been exploring that world within the body and without mm -hmm. the body, as within, so without. I've done a lot of exploration. Uh, <clears throat> I call it kinesthetically driven attention. I I I get a for instance I get a body part like the hands, I fully immerse myself, fully fully feel it, feel it, feel it. Uh, and I don't take my attention off of it, right? Mm -hmm. and then, then, I, that, then when it's filled with attention, mm -hmm. um, the mind immediately stops, but we don't stop there, we go further and keep feeling, 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 and all of a sudden, the body's intelligence starts to come out, which is perfect, and that's, that intelligence can be uh, driven, can be transferred into other parts of the body so I can feel other parts and as I feel I can feel through inner and outer parts I can feel my face the jaw I can feel my chest mm -hmm. to help of the breath I can feel the inside of my nose on and on and on so uh, there is a and this creates healing or what does that do when you when you focus on these body parts when I focus on this body part I I get in touch with the I get in touch with that universal intelligence that runs the body that's perfect now. I see. So it's so, almost like a meditation. Okay. Well, we can we can say it's a if the meditation is usually calming the mind, mm -hmm. and this is a step further where we're not happy with the calm mind. What we want is the calmness of universe, God, the the peace that passes all understanding type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that, there is a peace that is a different quality piece than than what yeah. comes from meditation that comes from the from the body and body parts and as i'm as i'm able to feel the body parts and combinations thereof mm -hmm. uh, there is different kinds of feelings and i i realize i can control or adjust my circumstances uh, i can create synchronicity in my life mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a it's a long thing. I'm kind of in a hurry to tell you, but but it's <laughs> it's feeling a body part is being in control of the context of life. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, as we as we feel as we get into it, all of a sudden there's this amazing feeling that shows up. We can call it nirvana or perfection or whatever you call it, but. Yeah. But, I, but we can modulate by modulating that feeling mm -hmm. and getting in touch with it we, we, we are now in control of the context of life or the circumstances of life, the synchronicity yeah, you, you, you're attaching into the field the field of, of yes. life, of exactly. the universe exactly. so I'm, I've been doing it for quite a long time, it's fantastic it works like really well yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too many people are open to it, but mm -hmm. the ones who are open to it they are really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I would imagine that maybe uh, someone who's very kinesthetic to begin with, you know, like there's different body types, right? People right. are very, very kinesthetic. They do everything with their body. They feel everything in their body very strongly. And then other people are a little bit more up here in the mind and other, yes. other people are a little bit more yeah. auditorial or whatever. But I could imagine that someone who's very kinesthetic to begin with would do very well with a technique like that. Yes, yeah. I, and I, to begin with, like I, dancers, I, I, for I, I, example, right? Like like dancers are people that are awesome. very kinesthetic. Yeah. They express yeah. themselves with their exactly. body. Right? 
Exactly. And I, I am and I was always very kinesthetic. Right, right. So I, I developed that. But uh, anyone can learn. It's not just kinesthetic people. <laughs> no, no, of course, of course. But I, w I would think that that would be the perfect technique yeah. for a kinesthetic person. I, I, absolutely. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we we get we get amazing results for ourselves and for people in uh, in, in doing this in feeling shifting attentions within the body using mm -hmm. body parts to connect with different body parts, realizing that the feeling in the hand is different than the feeling on the face and the nose and inside the nose. And so it's like mm -hmm. getting to know and navigate this reality, which is absolutely perfect, which is represented by the body. Just getting really present with with all these different energy fields in your body, right? Like all the different parts that that are you or that are working within you. That's right. It, to get really present and in touch with it. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. and by getting in touch with it, we're actually um, able to modulate the circumstances of our life in advance. Mm -hmm. And how does that work? Like, what's the jump between getting presence to your body and and um, influencing what goes on in your life? Well, be, being present in the body, and mm -hmm. when the mind stops, which stops very quickly when you focus mm -hmm. on inside the body, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the body emits what we call the golden essence. Mm -hmm. I call it the golden essence. The body emits this actual feeling, sensation, which mm -hmm. you actually grasp, uh, hold, and and so that's that's the basic what basic kinesthetic sensations of life itself that's who we are so right. we are able to grasp it release it it's not hypothetical it's, it's you can touch it's a touchy feely thing you can touch it feel it it's different than the peace of mind mm -hmm. and so once the golden essence is released mm -hmm. we can be with it and now we can modulate the golden essence using different body parts to to intend different things in life right it's all so very... can you give me an example like can you give me an example because I'm, I'm just trying to understand like how yeah so once this golden essence is released like i said it is not the mind not the piece of the mind it's further further right in. once it's released and i can feel it there's different exercises to learn how to fill up the room how to mm -hmm. transfer the feeling from the top of my head to the bottom of my foot, how to fill up my lung, da, 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 on and on. And by, by doing that, we're actually navigating this world uh, that is not the world of the mind. Right. It's totally different. And so so once once there is a golden essence and I can I can uh, I can almost like get out of your mind, get into your body. Right, and yeah. you know, the intelligence yeah. in your body that's, right. that's already there, that's in every cell of your body, and and work with the intelligence in your body rather than the intelligence in your mind, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. And what it is is okay. First, we get into the body, then we realize it matters whether I'm fully focused on my face, or a face and eye combination, or a face and hand, or my stomach. So the different body parts, I real, start, we started to realize, started to represent different kind of golden essence feelings. Oh, okay. So it's like that's the way to talk to the universe. That's the universal language that the universe understands. The universe understands sounds, colors, and these kinesthetically driven feelings. And we can visit, <laughs> visit even different deeper dimensions with the body. Mm. So it, it all starts with not discarding the body, but really the opposite. Mm -hmm. Right, integrating. In, in totally feeling it. And so, mm -hmm. for example, we can... We can really again, connecting to it fully rather than ignoring it. Yeah. Really, yeah. Most people are doing right now. Yeah. And with, with practice, you can mm -hmm. visit different uh, dimensions. Like, it's like... It's like you have a spaceship all of a sudden. And then you can um, go deeper. You can go 
and focus on a certain body part or a certain something outside yourself. And they realize that all of a sudden your intentions uh, have a place. All of a sudden there is a there is places that your intention can hang on to. Now, Nutri, do you do this as well? Do you also do this this kind of work? Yes, I do. Um, as a matter, and does of it feel differently to you than it does to Gabor? Yes, um, he's mastered it. I'm still practicing, but um, I was going to say before when when Gabor talked about meditation, for example, peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Before I met Gabor, I would I did every conceivable spiritual practice you can imagine from chanting to uh, visualization law of attraction meditation i did all of it right i felt i was in india everywhere you know trying to, to learn this and yeah. i had many many spiritual experiences that were wonderful all fleeting none of them lasted but mm -hmm. they were there and i was kind of be i became a spiritual junkie right and when I met Gabor, uh, first of all, I resisted him completely because I didn't want, oh, no, no, this is the end of the line. I knew my search would be over. And I was, <laughs> I was a searchaholic. <laughs> I know. That's that Sagittarian energy of like, I need more. Uh, I'm a for Sagittarian more. rising. <laughs> oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, that's the Sagittarius for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, finally, I, I, we got together and and um, I, uh, he, he had me do this very simple exercise, just feel your hand. And I thought, okay, I, I'll feel my hand. At that time, I was already so spiritually exhausted. And I saw through a lot of the falsity and the fraudulent teachers that are out there. Mm. So I wanted nothing to do with a teacher. I didn't want a teacher. I didn't want a spiritual path. I didn't want right. a spiritual path. Nothing. I'm done. But um, we got together and I said, well, what is it that you do? And because mm -hmm. I didn't know, and we, before that, we, I told him what I used to do and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He had me feel my hand. I mm -hmm. said, look into my eyes and feel your hand. And I was feeling it and feeling it. And all of a sudden, something shifted inside me. Mm. And I could not believe it. I thought, holy shit, this is not the same. This is a kind of silence, a kind of peace that I've never experienced, not in meditation, not in mm -hmm. chanting, not, not sitting in, at the feet of my holy guru, like nothing. Wow. Was, I couldn't compare it to anything. It was complete, complete silence. Mind stopped like there was nothing. That's incredible. And I realized at that point, a few very important things. Number one, that it was unlike anything else. So this must be something very different yeah. than what I've ever experienced. Also, yeah. I realized that I was no longer in my mind. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a state of mind. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the mind. And I realized that up until that point, I didn't know what it was like not to be in the mind. I studied metaphysics all about going beyond the mind, transcending the mind. So I thought I transcended the mind because I could quote any teacher who talks about it. So right. I thought I got it. And I realized I didn't. And I yeah. realized that that you one can't see the mind, can't know if one is in the mind or not in the mind until one is actually out of the mind. Absolutely, yeah. And it was only by... You have to truly experience it in order to know it, right? Like That's you can't right. just think it. <laughs> yeah. And, think right. it, yeah. and it was only when I actually was able to enter the body through putting my attention in the physicality of the of the hand. Mm -hmm. It was actually the physical. It wasn't a thought about it. It wasn't looking at it. It wasn't like you were being the hand. Like exactly. you were in the being of the hand. Exactly, feeling the vitality mm -hmm. of the hand. That mm -hmm. that kind of attention took me out of the mental realm out mm -hmm. of the horizontal duality realm and put me into it's a dimensionless dimension i can't even say that it's a dimension right. and that's when i knew oh my god this is it mm -hmm. and that was it for me of course i've had to practice it because the mind doesn't like that of <laughs> course the mind wants to stay active and wants to be like hey i'm still here hello the mind wants credit for any spiritual Abandon progress me. yeah <laughs> 
Yeah, it was credit. Right. Yeah. So uh -huh. mind rebelled and all that. But over the years, I've been practicing. And since we came to Hungary, Gabor discovered that the Hungarian language is so conducive to awakening. It's built uh -huh. into the language. And because of that, he was able to develop new techniques and new explanations that I've never heard before, that we never talked about before. And it keeps coming. It keep, he's, He does this 24-7, and he keeps developing more and more and more. And what happened was, that not too long ago, I, I you asked before the question of, in, in a practical way, how do we change things in our life yeah, with this? Yeah. And so I've had a problem trying to get my citizenship for this. Um, uh, sorry, permanent residency, residency. Yeah. for Hungary. Mm -hmm. For Hungary, the bureaucracy was like unbelievable, and there was all kinds of mistakes that were done along the way. And I was getting all these phone calls of interrogation. You know, like, are you sure you live where you live? Are you, are you you're not working anywhere. You're not doing this. When when did, wow. when did, when were you last in Canada? When we like nonstop? And I was starting to panic. I was like, oh my god, like I'm never going to get this. Mm. One day I said, okay, no, I'm going to use what I learned. So I I just sat quietly and I started to, I started, I usually I start with my hands because right. I'm used to it. I started to do the practice with the hand and then feeling, feeling the body and, and staying with it and staying with it and staying with it and going deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm. And then I started using the breath to go in, in deeper and a whole bunch of techniques and it, it, it's not going to mean anything right now, but just a lot of different things that I learned from Gabor. Yeah. And, and then I, I realized, for, and we've talked about this, that the truth is that if I am a fract, if my body is a fractal of the universe, then that means everything in the universe is within me. Right. And, and if I'm in touch with that universal intelligence, that runs mm -hmm. the body and runs the universe, then I can be in touch with other forces like the planets, like the the, the angels or whatever the case may be. Yes. So I, I started to, I said, what have I got to lose? I started to, in this place, that I, now I can't do that with my mind. It won't work. Right. It, you have to be already in the body. That's right. But because I was totally immersed in the golden essence, if you will, or the intelligence of the body, mm -hmm. I was able to invoke the angels. And I said, angels, this needs to happen. <laughs> I need to get my permanent residency. Do your thing. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how to do it. But I'm here. You're in me. And now I am now in this in this context, I'm able to modulate my reality so let's go let's do it and i kid you not sonia the next day i got my papers wow and i've been waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks the next day there they were and i like got goosebumps and i said oh wow this stuff really works and it's not the only time there's many 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 blood pressure goes up i i go in it goes down i mean it's it works mm -hmm. for so many things Right, like health as well as um, stuff that's just uh, anything you just want to materialize. Anything. Mm -hmm. and that's why we're so interested now in, in astrology as well, because the planets are inside us. Oh, yeah. The, I always say, you know, what is outside is inside. You know, you, you can't disconnect. You know, you can't disconnect from, from life because yeah. we're all interconnected with that and it's all... It's all one, really. Yeah. But I, 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 I've always believed in the idea of that every cell of my body is is like a microscopic replica of the whole universe, exactly. right? Like the whole universe doesn't just live within me once. It lives in every single cell once. That's so, right. you know, it's like every, every single cell has the whole universe, which means that I am a multitude of universes, you know, like my whole body is like a multitude of universes, which is phenomenal to think, right? <laughs>
Uh, absolutely. Right. And that's why I, I really appreciate your style of astrology because I've, I've looked into different astrologers and most of them they talk, they deal with fear. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a square, a T square here and an opposition yeah. there and be careful. Don't do this at, at this time. Don't do, you know, it, it's like that. And yours is yeah. never like that. Yeah. You're always talking to people in your I right don't place. believe in fear. Exactly. You're always <laughs> I mean, I know it exists. I know, <laughs> I know people have fear, but, and I, I have fear too sometimes, but, uh, but I don't believe in, in coming from that place, you know, that's especially right. now when you talk about something that's so big, like astrology, we, where we're really dealing with planetary energies, you know, like there's no point in coming from fear because the universe is not scared. Exactly. Right. right. Exactly. Why? Why? Why should we be? You know? Exactly. And you always talk about how to use the energies to use right. what's happening for for your benefit. So I yeah. really always resonated with your writings. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. that's just that's just what feels right to me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. what feels it's in alignment uh, with my own belief systems and and what resonates with me. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm a very, um, I'm a Taurus. So my body is very important to me, you know, like I'm definitely like in my body a lot. Um, I mean, I can also be a little bit up here too, cause you know, the astrology <laughs> kind of takes me into my, into my third eye a lot. And, you know, there's a lot that comes that channels through. Right. But, but I like to ground it in my body. You know, I like to bring it in and ground it and, and make it real. Cause I believe that you know, I feel like with a lot of people that are into spirituality, one of the things that is a trap is to stay too much out there, right? To not ground it mm -hmm. in your own body, to not ground <laughs> what you what you experience in your own body, right? Because uh, because this is the vehicle that we're that we're working with right now, right? I mean, that's why we're all in human form is to be in this body, right? I mean, there's a reason for that. Otherwise you would have been on a different planet yep. uh, somewhere in the universe and without a body, right? You would have just yeah. been like, I don't know, entity, some kind of alien, right? <laughs> but here we are, right? And this is our instrument. So I, I really believe that the the, the physical body is, is a big, um, a, a big place to integrate you know, what we do here on this planet and what we learn and how we connect with everything, you know, I mean, that's a, that's our, that's our vehicle, right? Right. I love, I love uh, what you guys are doing, you know, in terms of the, you know, really, really connecting to the body. And I think with, you know, with Uranus being in Taurus right now, I think it's very important for people to learn about something like that, you know, to learn about how to use your body in a in a very different way from how you used to using your body, right? I think that we're, I think there this is the time for us to to calibrate our our whole body, you know, to have a, a whole new connection to our body and to calibrate it in such a way that we're able to to move more into a spiritual place, but with our bodies, not without it, right? Yeah. Like, like a lot of people in the spiritual community, they, they think they have to get out of their body in order to be spiritual, right? But I think what we really need to do is get back into our body and, and, and use that vehicle, you yeah. know, to get into that higher vibration. Exactly. Yeah. And that was a very foreign concept to, for me because all my previous teachers just spoke about the body. My first teacher called it a shit factory. Right. <laughs> And, yeah, and my, that, but that's the that's how how spiritual yes you know, conversations were. They that's the body right. was, the, was bad, right? That's right. The ego, the body, like all these things. But I'm a big believer in integration. I don't think that anything is 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 wasteful or is is any everything has reason to be there, right? Like you, you just need to work with it in a way that works best for you, you know, and to be able to make your life better you know exactly. yeah absolutely not only that but you know the the higher level of consciousness is located first in the body right spreads not out of the body 
Right. It's not, it doesn't exist outside. It exists uh, it, inside. It's, yeah. it's really. So if you want, somebody wants a higher level of consciousness, whatever we call it, it's not there. It's not in the mind that resonates. and It's not in a higher frequency. It's not in a higher octave. <laughs> it's not in the energies. It's higher level of consciousness is before energy was created. There's no dimensions. And that's all here. Yeah, it's all collected be, here in, in each right. cell of our body. And, and we, we inherited it. We were born with it. We can get in touch with it and use it. Mm. Use it is a big term, but... And yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, get yeah. in, connect with it. You can get in touch with different body parts, organs, chakras. So mm -hmm. chakras have built-in attention combinations. So we use... I mean, in a way, yoga, yoga is, is, is a first attempt right to yeah. connect the body with with the spirit in some way right like to 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 get ourselves through movement or through certain yeah you know connecting to certain things in inside of us yeah e even that what we call spirit is born out of the intelligence of the body mm. not like here's a body and here's a spirit right it's it, connected it's, it's and we, we have we have we have conscious access to it once we're able to uh, take our attention and, and focus within the body for a longer time that's when mm -hmm. this, what I call the, the golden essence is born and we can call it spirit if we want now, right. now, that's, now we can mold it uh, and, and modulate it and do all kinds of things with it yeah so, I mean I think the confusion comes in because you know, uh, once you once you die, right, and once you leave your body, then there is something else that that lives on, right? But um, but as long as you're in your body, all that is in here. You know, it's it's it that's your container, right? It's your container for for everything that you need in yeah. in this particular lifetime, right? But but it, the, the weird stuff is, of course, that everything that you need uh, after the body dies. It's in the body, and while we're alive, it can be explored, and can be explored, and, uh, and it can be we can get to know that part that will live on that's currently in the body. Right. If you don't get to know it, the body dies. That's it. Right. So even that spirit that lives on is located, and if you're conscious of it, that will live on consciously, even though the body dies. Right. So it's it's we're totally in agreement. Like it's totally mis there is so much misunderstanding about yeah. it, and it's so popular that mm. it's amazing. Uh, yeah, mm. but I think I think we're starting to shift a little bit because we're we're realizing that that it's not working, right? Like the the spiritual sense of like just getting away from our bodies, it's not working. It's yeah. not it's not actually helping us be better here on this planet, yeah. you know. Yeah. It maybe helps us to escape the planet and to escape our, uh, you know, feelings or, or whatever pains or or tragedies that we're experiencing yeah. here. But it's not actually helping us be happier yeah. living here and being yeah. it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we, even just to escape the body, we have to first take out that, that permanent something and get to know it really well to have something to escape with <laughs> that's the vehicle to escape with even if you want to escape from the body so it's it's i mean you can't really escape from the body right you're in it so you can't really get go anywhere with it but the mind can right the mind can kind of like yeah, the, the yeah. mind thinks it can do all kinds of things and in fact the, the mind is the like mind thinks it's very smart and is an acrobat <laughs> yes. But you you made a very important point that I want I want to get back to a little bit, and that's that people don't they don't really attain anything, right? They, right. What what I'm finding is is that is absolutely true, and I think many people don't even realize that they're not attaining, and they don't even know what there is to attain, what is possible for the them to attain, mm -hmm. and and. They, they've become addicted to the search like I was right and they don't they no longer want to attain something for yeah. me when I was with a, the, my second long-term teacher the metaphysician um, mm -hmm. I at that point 
it was so tantalizing. The words were so tantalizing that he used. I thought, now I found. So I already, now I my self-image was of, of a person who has found. Now I found, now I know. I'm doing this, I love this, it's my life, I found. Mm -hmm. After he died, I, one day I noticed that it's been a few years and then I've been hopping from one thing to another. I tried this teaching, I tried this, I tried that. And one day I caught myself and I said, wait a minute, if I have found, why am I still searching? Right. <laughs> and I, because it's not outside of you, right? It's, exactly, it's inside of you. Exactly. That's, that's the problem, right? If we're searching outside of ourselves, we're never going to find anything. <laughs> I, I tried it. It's to not there. I try to tell this to people that they don't get it. Yeah. Like, why are we searching? And I know hundreds, if not thousands of people from all my years of different groups and practices Mm. They're still going along with it. And I don't think they even realize. That well, because people want answers, right? Yeah. And the answer will only land here. The answer exactly. cannot land anywhere but here. And if you're dealing on the level of the mind by trying to understand something that's beyond the mind, you're never going to get there. Because right? no, it's not, the mind can't grasp it. Exactly. You're going to have lovely aha moments. Right. And, and mental masturbation and realizing right. and you're going to think oh i must be awake like i used to think i right. must be awake because i realize this and i know this and i get it and i get that and i get that and it's just belief systems right and it's just like and knowing something else that somebody else maybe don't doesn't know yet but still it doesn't make yeah. you better or smarter no. <laughs> And there's still no peace. Like, Gabor, and there's still no peace. Yeah, because the was saying he was out. sitting with Indians. They were all peaceful, and and he was, you know, oh my God. I was kind of thinking and scratching my head because it was yeah. scratchy. <laughs> but anyway. So with all the so is that what 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 Indian tribes do? They kind of go into the body because they seem to be very connected to the earth and to to earthly things, right? Yeah, yeah, they they were they were very connected. They were very simple. They had a shaman, but no big deal. But they were get up in the morning and they were just sitting, you know, like mm -hmm. sitting. And I pretended that I'm doing the same, you know, like that. <laughs> right, so, but your oh, mind was probably going, like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> and I realized that they could just sit and mm -hmm. no thought. Mm -hmm. And how come with all my spiritual knowledge, I can't do the same? Yeah. So that was shocking. <laughs> Yeah. You know, yeah. And do yeah. such a such a simple thing. Yeah, you definitely have to go beyond the mind. The mind is yeah. not Yeah. And you don't know that's the the big thing that you don't know. Unless you go out of it, you don't know. Unless it. you have the experience itself, you don't know what it is. Exactly. No way. There's no experience. way to know except to yeah. experience. I've, I've done um I've done some work um with a teacher of mine. It's called the Sedona method. And it's a, it's a technique that helps you to get out of the mind, right? So it's kind of like a tool right. that helps you to, to go beyond the mind. So you engage the mind in order to do it, but you engage the mind with questions that then help the mind kind of like calm down. And, and then, and then you no longer, then you no longer hear, and then you just go into a very peaceful right. place, but it's, right. it's a, it's a place that's sort of like, it's like you are you're everywhere and you're nowhere. You're just every, you know you're everything and you're nothing. You're just sort of like mm -hmm. you're experiencing the experience. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, it's like it's hard to describe it, but you're just sort of like in a state of presence. You know, I mean that I guess that's the way I would describe it. That you just here now. You're very present, but you're not. Yeah, there's nothing else happening, really. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, but I like the idea of the of the body because I like the idea that the that you can you can really work with your body in a way that it teaches you about the universe, right? That it's not just that it's not just a thing that helps you, you know, make coffee or, you know, do the laundry, but that you actually like the body can teach you about the universe yeah and I mean, it, that's beautiful and it's instantaneous you know and it's, instantaneous. It's, it's, it's like i don't think it took even two minutes for me when i started to feel my hands i didn't mm -hmm. have to do any 
anything. I didn't have to work with my mind. I didn't have to. Right. And I didn't even know what I was doing, but it was, boom, you know. But and, you went straight into it. And the, yeah. the interesting thing is, uh, Gabor and I ran into each other during the time that I was running away from him <laughs> and trying to avoid him because I, I was always, whenever we met, I was always talking about what I learned. And he would, he was a fantastic listener. <laughs> Good for you, Gabor. Good for you. <laughs> so I was very impressed. It was so easy to talk to him. But uh, we ran into each other in a singles barbecue. And, uh, and uh, we were talking again. And he said something to me. He said, you know, what you're doing is fine. But what you're doing is in the mind. You're using the mind to go out of your, be, beyond your mind. What I do is not in the mind at all. Uh, she was and I off. was so pissed off, Sonia. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> how dare he say that I'm in the mind? I've been 40 years working on getting out of my mind with every technique imaginable. <laughs> he's telling me that what I'm doing is in the mind. I was so angry. I kind of oh. had a nice smile. I was, you know, and I said, well, let's just agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Overtly hostile kind well, of. Well, until you ex have the experience, right? Like that's it. When I finally experienced, experience. ah, that's what he meant. Yeah, and then she didn't like me because I was wearing the same shirt twice. Oh no! <laughs> and he was wearing. Sandals I was wearing sandals with, with socks. socks. <laughs> oh no no no! You don't do that. That's a no no. You would can't do that. You have to you, you, you're, a, you're a model. You would know how low cost that is, but. So <laughs> I, I was looking for all these excuses not to be with him because I intuitively I felt once I get into what he's in, the search is over and I just was addicted to the search. Like so many are. Right. Yeah. Like the search because the search is in the mind and the mind doesn't want to die. But keeps you busy, right? I mean, the search keeps you busy. And so I think that there is a part of us that wants to stay busy and distracted so that you don't have to That's right. go yeah. into that into yeah. that place of yeah. emptiness and nothingness, you know, like where it's just everything there, you know, because, because there's really nothing to do once you get to that place, you know, once you, once you're in that place of like complete oneness with everything, with the universe, there's nothing you need to do. No, but you can have fun creating. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you can just create from that place. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Uh, the, 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 there's nothing to you can just be uh, right. no problem. and of course uh, the possibilities that show up is full mastery of life in every dimension from that piece that you're talking about just being mm. uh, for, if you exp we explore that world all kinds of possibilities show up all kinds of at attention types show up that we haven't experienced before so from that piece, there is a whole new level of life that that evolves. Right. And and that's where yeah. we Because you're creating from that place then, right? Because yeah. you you're creating as you go, right? Every moment is a moment of creation. So if you're creating from that peaceful place, then you're creating on a much much of it. Yeah. vibrational level than yeah. than if you're creating from a place of business yeah. and mind and and that's, right. that's the danger of a peaceful state of mind because I've known many people who are stuck in bliss. It's blissful right. and, and they're stuck in bliss and they don't know how to, they, they can't move on beyond that and they don't even want to because it feels oh. good. But it's not... But that's escape then, right? So then that becomes an escape, not really a, a way to live in the world. Yeah. yeah. It's not home, you know, right. and we're, we're not living in the Himalayas or in some cave. Right. <laughs> we have to pay well, some food. people some people choose that life right some people are tibetan monks you know yeah. and they yeah. you know, that's all they do. It's nice but for a few days a week you know <laughs> and then come back to the middle of the city you know? yeah. And, yeah exactly yeah. deal with but i mean I, I i always said you know if if you are truly awakened you got to be able to live anywhere and be in any circumstance and still feel that still feel the the energy of that yeah. right because otherwise you're not really i mean if you can only be awakened if you're in a buddha position 
you know, sitting somewhere very quiet on the top of the mountain, you're not really awakened. You just, you know, you just have a lot of peace. You're just enjoying the view and the peace, you know. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of our Gabor, not many people like to do this or even hear about it, but one of our main practices is to watch a violent movie and at the same time practice being can and, you and, and we yeah. watch it we watch what's going on like there, where there's a murder or a rape or whatever it is and we're able to hold the inner peace but the silence or the the golden essence or whatever it is that we want to call it and we're able to stay there while watching it very cool that's, that is that's an powerful. incredible experience all, all the revenge is happening there and all the fear and everything I, I can even allow myself to go into it and go oops and i am Ooh, and just straight in it and then it's yeah. happening over there and very cool i am so yeah watching violent movies is part of our advanced exercise yeah and I mean, I definitely notice when I watch something that uh, that is upsetting, I can immediately feel it in my body. You know, immediately I'm like, you know, there's like a holding or a tension or something goes on in my body. And I, I have to really release that. I have to really let that go. Yes. Yeah. That, that's it, why I stay away from the news and from from anything that's too extreme. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to put my body through it. You know, I'm like, nice. Ah, my body doesn't need to get through me. Yeah. The news are lying anyway, so you're not missing. Well, that's that's the truth. Yeah. Well, I, I want to know what they are lying. Like, uh, you know, I, what's the current lie? Uh, so, well, that's the thing is you never know what really it is that they're lying about, but they're lying about something. Sure. <laughs> I get online, I get information online, and then the mainstream media is always lying. So trying to figure out. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's definitely an interesting time that we live in, where we really need to learn to trust our own instincts and our own inner truth, and not get so caught up in the outside world. And yeah. I think that's such a new uh, paradigm and such a new way of living that a lot of people are having a hard time with that shift. You know, because trusting yourself, you know, is not easy for a lot of people that have been trusting the media uh, the politicians the doctors the ev everybody out there in the world they've yeah. been putting their trust so much into other people that's right and not into themselves yeah. that that all of a sudden now they should start to trust themselves and and make their own decisions <laughs> you know it's like uh, you know, we don't know how right. we don't know how it's like we don't yeah a lot of people don't know how because they're not used to doing that yeah. right trust myself becomes another concept okay oh i trust myself okay I trust myself. So, oh, but I, oh, what's happening? Oh, oh I gotta trust myself. Where, where, where does the information come from? How do you trust right? yourself? That's the thing. And, and all your life, you were exposed to templates and yes. and, and narratives and, and stuff like that that's going on in the head. Oh, I should trust myself. Okay, I trust myself. As a concept, trust right. myself doesn't mean anything. Right. What are you trusting? Are you trusting your own mind? That's yeah. not a good idea. <laughs> Don't trust your own mind. <laughs> For most people, myself, it, it equals my mind. He's the mind, yes. yes. Or my exactly. self-image. And... Or my conditioning, whatever, yeah. whatever you've been conditioned into, yeah. yeah. And how stable is that? <laughs> Why would I want right. <laughs> Well, these are all fleeting things that come and go, right? Yeah. 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 So you, you got to trust what's what's there all the time yeah yeah absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely. and uh, the, of course how how i how i got interested in the astrological aspect and i don't know anything about it just talking to her i know right. the planets. it's complex <laughs> yeah that the, the planets influence us for sure i know that uh, the, yeah. the, the moon influences the, uh, the water levels we all, sure yeah it's, it's evident anybody who doesn't believe it is you know yeah. And so okay, so uh, where is that planetary influence in, in my body? Okay, so Mars right. is here. Where does that connect inside my my own where, self? What what I know I can fully be in my face, fully, hundred mm -hmm. percent, and don't leave. Okay, so what mm -hmm. does it represent? I uh, you know, well, I can fully be in my eyes. I can fully be everywhere in the combination. So. If I can access the equivalent of those planets that is outside, inside, mm -hmm. okay, now now I'm in a position of modulating. So it influences me from outside. What can I do with it from within? Those are the questions that I started asking. 
Right. This and one thing, that that I to say, yeah. one thing that I actually should say with the planets is uh, it, it's not a good idea to get stuck by thinking that the planets influence you from the outside in only, right? right. Yeah. It's more like that the outside is a representation of what's already within you, right? So if we're, if exactly. we're going by you know, that every cell of your body has the whole universe in it, then of course, every cell of your body has all of the planets in it too, right? right. It's like, like what we're seeing out there is just a representation of what you're already experiencing within. That's why very often, you know, when I give readings to people, they will say to me, oh, I've been feeling exactly that because of course they've been feeling it because it's already there, right? Like it's not, it's not a news flash. It's not like I'm telling you something that you don't already know. Of course you know it because you're experiencing exactly what I'm describing to you. I'm just, I'm just describing it. I'm just verbalizing it, but you're already feeling it and experiencing it internally because it's in you, right? It's yeah. already yeah. yeah. And and what I'm talking about is feeling how to shift it. That's what I'm talking right. about. How to, how to use it in a how way that... It, even though it's influencing me inside, I want to be able to grab it and shift it. That's, yeah. that's, right. the, so intent, it, that's the intention. It takes it away from the uh, a victim mentality to uh, sovereignty. Uh, yeah. Yes. Something like that. Yes. And that's very important these days because yeah. we're yeah. so many people stuck in victim mentality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And well, blaming other people and, you know, and that's not useful because... If you can't take responsibility for for your own power, yeah, then then you're always going to feel disempowered, right? Exactly. And I mean, we're all so powerful that, and that's the that's the astonishing thing, right? Is that we're so powerful, each one of us, in terms of, of what we can create and what we can do, and yet we all have bought into this belief that yeah. we're not. That's right, right? We've it's like we've forgotten, you know. Yeah. The power that we actually have yeah and, and i mean a lot of it is the social conditioning and and how you grow up and okay. you know you're being taught and all of that but but it's just up here right the moment you can drop this stuff and the moment you can drop all that conditioning then you can actually experience you know the power that that's there exactly. and not in a not in a power is such an interesting word isn't it because power can be interpreted in so many different ways and and i feel like sometimes when i when i say the word power i i think of external power but it's not external right it's 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 power that's that's inside of you that's just energy power you know yeah cool <laughs> it's amazing yeah. how uh, our our worlds are meeting now I know it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I've never spoken to anybody who does what you guys do. This is very new to me, and it's it's very beautiful. And I've never spoken to an astrologer who gets this uh, on this level. So, you know, it's it's wonderful. Yeah, it's really wonderful. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you guys? What do you guys? Um, how do you share with the world? Like, how do you, um, do you do courses or do you teach one-on-one -on -one or like, what's your, what's your way of, of sharing this, this beautiful. We have a, a YouTube channel with many videos. Uh, Gabor also does one-on-one -on -one coaching mm -hmm. and, uh, he, there, we also have an online course. Okay. Uh, and once you do the course, you can join a group that we have an ongoing group. That okay. once they do the course, they learn, they continue to come uh, once a week, once a week with Gabor, Gabor, once in two weeks, they, they meet with Gabor. And in between that weekend, they meet with me and we do the practices together. So we learn how to integrate, integrate. Right. So it's, not a, it's not a theory <laughs> and it's not just a practice, it's, it's integration. So and is is all of this happening online or is uh, some of this happening in person? In Budapest, it's in person. Right. And, and it, not a, otherwise, we have people from England, from from Austria, mm. um, Canada, every, United everywhere. States, Mexico, yeah. everywhere. Right. Those are online. So okay. we have both. Yeah. And these people are able to, to connect with you on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. that's right on, on the course it, yeah we meet twice or three times a week with the people who are really into it yeah right uh, in both in two languages actually yeah english and english. oh so you you do it in english and in hungarian yeah, yeah. sometimes all at the same time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well it's okay because the mind doesn't need to be engaged anyway so. well, that's that's the beauty of it while while they are listening to the other language that they don't hear they mm -hmm. are just being yeah right they don't just, they're engaging wow. their mind so it actually works out quite well mm -hmm. like this morning right. he was he had an online session with a hungarian group and it's in hungarian right uh-huh Sometimes we have a, a somebody come join from New Zealand because of the hours. Okay. So he'll speak in Hungarian and every now and then he'll throw a few English words so the person will know what to follow, right? right. So <laughs> this morning it was in Hungarian. I'm sitting on the side. And when it's in Hungarian, I just do the practice myself. And I try not to, I don't speak Hungarian very okay. little. I understand a lot of the words, but I try not to listen to the words in Hungarian because then my mind will go, goes back into the mind. Yeah, I just, understand. So yeah. I don't do that. I just do the practice. And for example, like I was thinking, okay, now I'm going to follow the breath into my nose so I can feel my face. And all of a sudden he'll say the same thing in English. <laughs> Perfect. So you're doing it already as he's I'm speaking. I'm doing about it, it and he's saying it. Because every sounds like you two are very in tune with each other. Yeah. I have that with my husband as well. I will say something and he'll be like, I just thought that. Yeah. You know, or he'll do yeah. something. I'd be like, I would just wanted to do that. You know, cool. I think when you live together, you you sort of like. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. You yeah. gel together very well. Yeah. Is, is your husband American or? Uh, he's British, actually. He British. Uh, He's from Oxford, but um, but he's become an American citizen like oh. in 2006, I think. It's been it's been a while yeah so. he likes to say he's an american yeah, I, I understand. I understand. yeah he but, likes he likes america or he he used to like it a lot more than he does now i think he's starting to not like it as much anymore yeah, yeah. I, I know i, I don't like it i i love americans and i love Actually, I love the United States. Uh, yeah. The government is a different story. but Yeah. See, talking. I think when we talk about a country, you always have to differentiate between the government and yeah. the people. And the people. Um, yeah. Because yeah. honestly, I think the people in America, they're really great people. Uh, yeah, exactly. And the government is not always great, but they're, they're, they're too black and white. You know, it's too... Yeah too much duality you know I have different yeah. things yeah and uh, I mean I think it's the same with Canada right I mean the Canadian people are great people but the oh, government oh well the government right. like... you know what what, what can you say I mean but that's just what's going on right now because of the transits that we're in right now you know that's what that's what needs to happen to show us you know how to really grab our own power back and to be more sovereign in the world right. you know to so not give our power to governments, right? Yeah, right. To, to, make our, to create our own lives, you know? That's right. That's right. You know? and, and that's what we're learning right now. And it's it's a tough lesson because it with that comes a lot of needing to face our own shadows, our own hypocrisies, hypocrisies, you know? And so that's not always easy to do, you know, like that, that, when that conditioning comes up and, and, you know, most people don't really want to take a look at that, you know, but it has to be faced so that we can move beyond it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you right. gotta admit what's there yeah. before you can make it better. Exactly. Yeah. You can't Absolutely. just put it, put icing on the cake and pretend like the cake is a good cake when there's really just shit underneath it. That's right. <laughs> it's a shit cake. <laughs> you can well you can most people will put icing on a shit cake and just oh, pretend yeah. I'm, I'm the cake, you know? here well, you want a piece hey isn't that nice one of the most lovely what a beautiful icing i made oh yeah. one of the most favorite sayings uh is <laughs> a shit sandwich is always a shit, a shit sandwich. sandwich no matter how much mayonnaise you put on it. <laughs> right that's that's a very similar analogy right yeah exactly that people can um can do courses with you and and learn about this mentality that's really wonderful and um of course um you know i i have i have astrology courses as well that i teach that are all always based on 
you know, the belief systems that, that I have, which is more, you know, as above, so below that everything's connected and that, that, you know, Wonderful. there's yeah. no such thing yeah. as, um, black and white, you know, I mean, I think we have to move away from black and white thinking, you know, because that's not helping anybody. Right. So, um, I'm always trying to, to kind of drop into the heart space. You know, if you drop yeah. into the heart space, you're in a good space and that's a good place to, Absolutely. to communicate from. Yeah, these stupid <laughs> concepts out there. <laughs> I know. There's a lot, well, concepts are concepts, right? They're yeah. not. Yeah, they're not necessarily real. Not experience, right? Yeah. Not experience. Yeah, experience is the only. Actually, one of my teachers always said, "Check your direct experience." Yeah. You know, always check, and this has helped me so much during COVID, actually, because in COVID, you know, with all the information that came, so this, 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 and I just kept going. I'm gonna check my direct experience. What do I actually see, feel, hear, experience? And that has helped me so much because just trusting my own direct experience. And that was my body's wisdom just as much as but intelligence knows instead of the government or the exactly. yeah. pouchy or pouchy or whatever his name is. <laughs> pouchy, pouchy. Pouchy, pouchy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's so lovely meeting you guys. Likewise. Likewise. Very Have nice. a fantastic rest of your week and a beautiful weekend. Take, take care of yourself. All the best. All right. Much love. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.